at it again? Well, Bubba was just being Bubba. Yeah, you know, just... when he when he walked over to uh, Loretta Lynch's uh, jet on the tarmac, you know? He said, let's I mean, do it. However, it, let's face it, it doesn't look good well, when, listen. when your wife, supposedly, who's running for president... Well, she's, and might be brought up on charges that the attorney general has to rule on. Yeah. And you go and schmooze with the attorney general for, for 20 for, to 30 minutes. Uh, and and then you, you both go your own way. And it, it was never mentioned until somebody caught him. And how likely is it two airplanes will land? Both pe- people who get off, the both, each one will get off the airplane and they say, shake hands and one, they go back up on one airplane. Uh, well, you know, I uh, look on, on the tarmac. You can't really make this stuff up. I realize that, you know, I mean, it just doesn't look good. Nah. You know, uh, you, you, you do yourself a disservice because you have to do so much walking things back. Okay. Uh, that after a while it's, you know, people just don't believe you anymore. And that's one of the problems that her campaign faces, you know, that she hasn't been very forthcoming, not very oh. honest, and he, he for sure, so... Uh, Crooked Hillary? You know. What? He's not lying at all. He, he doesn't lie. He just says stupid things. There's a difference. Well, it also depends. You know, when he said he never had sex with that woman... Talking about, you talking about Bubba again? Yeah, meaning Monica Lewinsky. Yeah. There are many people who do not consider oral sex to be sex. But I'm sure he did a lot more with uh, with her than that. I mean, they, I almost hate to say this, but statistics show that there are a lot of young people growing up who want to stay, maintain their virginity, virginity yeah. but uh, they don't consider oral sex to be sex. Well, first thing is, I'm sure they did more than that because this wasn't a one-time thing. Well, look, I don't know. Just I'm, caught, not say, I'm not he just, saying. He just got caught. I mean, look, it's 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 it, look, it's water under the bridge. It has no business being. It's not water up under again. the bridge. It's it's Monica under the uh, table. Uh, Felix, Felix, Felix. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, ladies and gentlemen. These are. This is going. We're talking about our next president. Can you believe this? Talking the white. At least the husband of the well, next look, president. I mean, Hillary is, you know, I mean, she's highly intelligent. She's very well qualified. I mean, look, she's everything that Trump isn't, except he's a billionaire. Okay. And she's um, only, and and she, consider, she's crooked. But but when you consider who he's thinking of for a vice president, forget about Mike Pence or uh, Cornyn. He's seriously considering. Chris Christie, who never met a pizza he didn't like, okay, and you should talk. Uh, and Newt Gingrich, who, well, who I for like. all intents and purposes, I never like. met a backseat he wasn't comfortable with with a nice blonde. But Newt Gingrich, Newt Gingrich is is highly intelligent. And he's, he's got a very, his doctorate. He was a history professor. And he's got a he's, he's got a good mannerism. He's a good negotiator. He did very well in Congress with Reagan. And, and it wasn't uh, Reagan, right? It was, no, you, Reagan. What are you no, talking, what am I talking about? about? Yeah, I get my mind mixed up. No. Uh, with, with Bob. He no, was he was he was speaker during uh, Clinton. Yeah, with Bob. Yeah. The two of them, you know, they got a lot of things accomplished. Well, he also shut down. He was the first one to shut down uh, Washington. Yeah. You know, but they got a lot of things accomplished. Well, you got to remember when when Gingrich was in power, you had the the first wave of neocons and conservatives coming into the House Republican Party, and they didn't want to give an inch. Eventually, they learned the game of compromise, which is something that the Tea Party people have yet to learn. Okay. Um, Talking about Tea Party, who was Cruz? Uh, he was talking to a guy from was it TSA? Was he talking to? I don't know, but Cruz was another person that uh, Clinton spoke to. You know, when he saw him at the airport in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. But this was in Arizona. It wasn't in Texas. No, they met in Arizona. Oh. 
All right. But still. What was it Cruz doing in Arizona? He might have still been campaigning then. I don't know. <laughs> this this week? Oh, was this week? Yeah, this happened this week. When they met. We're talking about when Hillary met. When Hillary met, no, not Hillary, when uh, Lynch met Bubba, it was this week. I assume one day in the beginning of the week. Oh. And, then, and then somebody saw pictures of them and they and they opened it up and then they had to come out and admit that they did it. No better off just saying we had sex like we always, and that's the end of it. That, that, everybody would believe that and they wouldn't have said, uh, there was no compromising there. Well, all right, and getting back to the news, this is you like new. you like how this we tell you the news, news on, ladies this and gentlemen. This is news, unfortunately. Well, I mean, you know, the, what happened today in Bangladesh, or is, it still might be ongoing in Bangladesh. Yeah, I mean, if anybody hears, you know, well, we don't have any way you know, of knowing the last right time, now. The last time you heard the name Bangladesh mentioned in the, in the newspapers was back when George Harrison did his uh, concert in Bangladesh. The last time back in I, the sixties or well, early seventies. The last time I saw the word Bangladesh was in the back of one of my T shirts that I bought. Look, the Bangladesh has had its own problems. I don't know if you ever heard the you, they've had uh, it's a rash of murders in the last couple of years. I don't know if you know about them. I've heard mention, you know, they're, I haven't followed it really. They're called the hatchet killings. And these guys would come in. We have that in Brooklyn. Yeah, right. These guys, would, the three, four guys would come in on motorcycles. They had a target in mind. It was mostly, uh, you know, left-wing type people, poets or podcasters, whoever was would speak better. Artsy, artsy people, people in the arts. When you say poets, you know. you poet or. People who were you know, people who were who were, who were gays, anybody that was not strict Muslim. Well, I know these countries have terrible laws and well, no, punishments well, for homosexuality. A, well, not in the, you know, no, they have a uh, what do you call it? A, the government is uh, tolerant. No, it's a, it's a sectarian government. So these guys were, were coming around and uh, just chopping people up. You know they were, they had you know they had names they were hitting you know known people they, were, they had a hit list and about four months ago the government just did a sweep arrested like sixteen hundred people to try to uh, stop these murders anybody that was in, in a radical group they brought them in I'm not sure if it worked though but now they're making the big times. No more slashings. Now it's, well, we don't know what it's going to be in the end. Now, usually, uh, I don't think ISIS negotiates. No. they, they <laughs> So I don't know why these guys. They are don't gonna... have to negotiate at all. They just act. No, so I'm wondering why they've been holding it for so many hours and negotiating. Maybe they got scared. They said, shit, I don't want to die. I don't want to kill myself. Let's see if we get out of this somehow. Well, they haven't even come out with any great demands. I mean, all I know is that there's a standoff, and and they said that there's a the police line is very fairly far away from where the hostages are being held, and you can't negotiate when you have like a block or two in between. You know. Well, I mean, uh, well, you don't know what's going on, and we don't know what if they're talking by phone. Well, they don't. You know, you, you don't have to talk face to face. You can talk by phone. And you, they're staying further away because they don't. These guys have hand grenades. They were tossing hand grenades at the police, and you know who knows what else they have. So yeah, they're gonna. The police are staying out of out of line of fire. That's how yeah. the police got killed. At least one of them got killed with a hand grenade. I don't know about the other one. I know there were two cops killed. They say forty people wounded. I'm not sure the one was that was from. Well, I'm sure uh, by the from, time. You know, by the time we all have to go to bed tonight, maybe there'll be, you know, further news. You know, but, but uh, uh, maybe by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. What about uh, uh, what about uh, the uh, Hillary's uh, supposed, uh, you know, choices for vice president? You know, I mean, there's talk of Elizabeth Warren. Who, goofy. Who, who, oh, stop it. Who really 
energizes me. I really like her. But I think that, you know, Hillary might not like the fact that Elizabeth Warren is probably even more popular than she is. You know, it would certainly satisfy the Bernie people because Elizabeth Warren is right there with them, you know. You see, I don't like hypocrites, and she's a hypocrite. Why? Because she mentioned uh, about no. being 132nd Native American? Well, that, that's She might just, have been told that by her that, parents. No, she said that was, just a, that, that was just a family thing. That They said somebody in the family had high cheeks. They said, oh, he could have been an Indian. She admitted it was a lie. But she got well, she got scholarships out of it. She didn't go. You don't know the scholarships came from that. But anyway, what she what she was knocking, she was talking about Trump. When they they had the housing, the who the housing the housing market was dropping. Yeah, yeah. And he said, "Oh, gee, there's a housing market is drop. I can buy some housing, and make a lot of money on it." Yeah. So she, uh, the, the, Hillary said that too. Yeah, the problem is though, Goofy did the same thing. Who? She was flipping houses. Goofy. Who's Goofy? I don't know who. Elizabeth. Oh. She was flipping houses at the same time. Well, like I said, I I don't know these things. So I'm just uh, telling you, she was flipping houses, not the same volume that Trump would, because she doesn't have the money. But she was flipping houses for family members and different people. Well, you know, you got to be. And, you're supposed and, to show you got to be very careful when it comes <coughs> to politics. What you say, or actually, as my my uncle used to say, okay, when you travel this wide world, of these three things, beware: of whom you speak, to whom you speak, and how and when and where. Okay, because eventually it's going to come back to bite you in the butt. All right. And something we know from most politicians is as long as there's the videotape, as Warner Wolf used to say, you could say one thing today and then they go back three years and they get you on the videotape saying the complete opposite. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to walk that back, you know? Yeah. Well, people are allowed to change their minds. I will say that. What are they evolving? Mm-hmm. They're, they're evolving, evolving. yeah. <laughs> but more not, like but more not, like revolving, not evolving. Well, no, well that's what I was gonna say. It's okay when they evolve. It's not so good when they evolve. When they go back, yes, I'm for NAFTA today. I'm all, no, I'm not for NAFTA now. Oh yeah, of course I'm for NAFTA. I think they took one too many toke on that cigarette, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, that that's the that's the Johnson <laughs> man. He act, he used to run a marijuana company. Hey, listen, talk about Johnson. You know, they gave. As of now, his statistics in, like, the Rust Belt, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, yeah. he's drawing double digits, okay? And it's not sure who he's taking votes away from. But, you know, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with, like Ross Perot back in 92. Yeah, except- you know, he may even become part of the... Uh, Presidential debate. If he keeps drawing double, he's got to get fifteen percent. Huh? Fifteen percent of. Well, the, he had over. He had about twelve percent in one, but the other two were over fifteen percent. So he's got to get nationwide fifteen percent to well, become. I a, wouldn't be surprised to become a contender. Well, you know, he could draw anybody. He could. I mean, if you look, if you listen to him, you know, libertarians are very strange. Well, you but know, they say, you know. They say a lot of things that a lot of young people, you know, young people are interested in, you know, they want government out of their life for the most part, you know. Yeah. Um, they don't they, they don't want to be sent overseas to fight some war that they, the country has no business being involved in, you know. So, I mean, as long as there are young people and they have the right to vote, uh, the... Uh, you know, the libertarians tend to do fairly well. Yeah. He uh, he wants to legalize marijuana. Well, the bottom line is eventually, I would say within the next four years or so, more and more states are going to legalize it anyway. So the country is, is leaning that way. I want you to hear something, if, if, if I can get this. If I can find this. 
In case you're wondering, folks, the sun